Well, of course, this is a very significant visit. Pedro Sanchez, the first world leader to be invited to Beijing by President Xi Jinping after that high-profile visit to Russia. And, of course, as you just mentioned, top of the list is Europe's desire for China to use its potential as a, a peacemaker in the Ukraine to bring an end to that conflict. Now, apart from that, of course, Europe is looking for better access better conditions, more amenable conditions in the Chinese market. It's one of the largest, of course, it's a, you're talking about a market of 400 million people. Europe wants to grow its economy. Um, China and the EU account for half of the world's GDP. So it is a codependent relationship also. Sanchez earlier talked about building trust through dialogue, cooperation and solidarity. Let's have a look at what he said now. Europe is now adapting to new realities in a rapidly changing context. This implies accelerating its Green Deal to lead in the fight against climate change, moving away from Russia's gas and oil dependencies, and building a new green and digital industrial base. China and the European Union, as major markets and, markets and geopolitical entities, must compete in some areas.